here we have a picture of the Grand Canyon. And you can see that the foreground was nicely exposed, but the background is very washed out, which is very sad for such a majestic canyon. It should really have a lot more punch in this image because the canyon part itself is actually a lot more important than these rocks in the foreground. So let's have a look at the basic adjustments and see what we can do with this. If you look in the histogram here, you'll notice that the mountains just get cut off right here. And what's happening is we're clipping the highlights. And if we roll over this little triangle, you can see red on the image. And that red represents where it's clipping, which means it's forced to pure white. Well, we can fix that. What we're going to do is hold down the Alt key on the exposure slider. And as soon as we click, we can see a threshold. So we're going to drag this down until all those little spots disappear and then release. And what we've done here is we've pushed it back and we've managed to recover some of that in the highlights so there's no clipping there. The other thing we can do is we've got this recovery slider. If we slide this recovery slider up, watch these areas of highlight, especially in the clouds and these really hot parts on the mountains here. If we push this up, what it does is it recovers some of the detail in those highlights. So we can see just already what we've done if we look at it before and after we've managed to recover a lot of this. The other thing that we need to do is look down on these cliffs here. This is a very dark, mysterious area, but it's not showing any true blacks in there. If you look at the histogram, notice that there's nothing there in the black. So what we want to do is move it. So this portion here is right at the end, and we can do that with the black slider. Let's push the black slider up. And notice as we do that, it puts these areas into a nice dark shadow. And if they get a little bit too lost, we can use the fill light here. And the fill light will just open up some of those shadows there. Just the dark midtones. And we've still got our punchy blacks and our punchy contrast. But we've got a little bit more detail viewing in there. The other thing we can do too, if we can actually increase our contrast slider, if we want more contrast in the image. Contrast adds blacks and whites instead of just the midtones. All right, we can actually probably turn up the brightness a little bit because this image has started to get a little bit dark. There we go. So we can start to see a huge difference now. If we look at the before and the after, we're starting to get quite a good looking image here. All right, let's go down now. The next thing we want to do is we want to work on something called the clarity. What the clarity does is this boosts midtone contrast. So let's increase this clarity and as we push that up, you'll probably see, if we zoom in here, you'll see a big difference in some of these areas once we're zoomed in. If we go before, and then we push that up, notice these textures and stuff come out a lot stronger. And that's what the clarity does. It just pushes these things up. And, and it increases the midtone contrast. One thing we might be able to do, because if this image is getting just a little bit dark, let's just play with the exposure. We're just going to open it up just slightly. There we go. Just to brighten up the image. All right. And then finally, we've got our vibrance slider is the last one we're going to look at. Now, the vibrance is similar to the saturation, but it's a lot smarter. Basically, it works on a linear scale, which means that areas that are already very saturated don't get too much saturation, but areas that are undersaturated get quite a saturation boost. So if you watch when I slide this up, obviously I'm overdoing it here, but see how the un unsaturated areas here are getting more of a boost than the already saturated areas. So we just reset that. Notice these areas here don't boost as much. And that's kind of how the vibrance works. So if we wanted to push some extra color in there, we could, but we'll try not to overdo it. So anyway, that's the basic adjustments, and we're putting all those together to get a nice uh, contrast back into this image. Let's look at it before and then after.